now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, Come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and bitumen for mortar. mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to the sea, the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, If as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language, so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Hello again. Language fascinates me. I think it's wonderful that it changes and develops, but it can lead to confusion, especially today as the speed of change of language means that words can change and mean something totally different in the course of one human life. I've discovered that with words myself. But the confusion comes from an act of God's grace. Human beings have a tendency to pride to paying little attention to anything else but ourselves. God brought confusion, which meant we have to work at understanding one another. And as we work at understanding one another, we can discover the great blessing of humility. As we approach a Christmas with restrictions, let's take a minute moment to think of and to pray for those poor souls of other religions who have to forego their usual celebrations this year. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we are all different, that we look, speak and think differently. Help us to live in humility and graceful communion with those around us. Amen. Have another read of that story about the Tower of Babel and see what message God has for you in it. God bless you.